is um, I got the first of, I think it's the first of the um, HRDs I worked on. Um, I got that out and the roller isn't broken, but I'm going to service it. What I'm going to do is um, sort of show you why they fail. Um, and um, basically just give a, a bit of a clean up. I'm not going to have to take that apart. Um, if the seals are alright, that, that's alright. I think the bearings and all that are pretty good. And even the end bearings I think are probably okay on this one. I don't want to spend too much money on it because it is going to be um, sold. But um, I want to sort of service it. Yeah, I'm going to grease it all up so it prolongs its life. So um, hopefully the new owner, when I do sell it, get a decent um, bit of um, a use out of it. Um, so yeah, um, I actually have knocked that off outside, but I haven't actually pulled it all the way off. But um, there's just a nut to come off the end there. You do sometimes need a drawer on the end there. There you are, this side is a better light. Um, it's not brilliant still, but it's better. So I have sort of loosened this off, but I had to sort of tap it. Sometimes when you tap it and leave it, it little bit bends it there, but you can straighten that out. That's not a, a huge issue. Yeah, I needed two hands to get it off. Uh, so let's have a look. Yeah, in there it's not really dirty but you can see there in there mainly see that dirt and that well pick it off a bit there's stone in there as well that's the sort of thing that will cause these drives to to fail also i had noticed even before i got off there's little bits of muck and that in there well what happens let's get it on the upright position oh. what happens them stones can get caught up and the grit can get caught up in behind there and that seal there will start it they'll catch on it and that seal will start to leak and then the oil will come out or whatever and then your drive will start to fail um some of these earlier ones had grease in i think i mentioned that before some have the newer ones have oil in um if i took this apart i'd put oil in it but i'm not going to take it apart if that's dry and you can see it's a little bit grubby and that, that will be cleaned off but um, I'll take them, there's uh, like a circlet there. Um, that will allow me to get the drive off of that that shaft there. And there's another, the same configuration in the in the bottom part. So I'll take it all off, give it all a really good clean. You see it's dry and that it could do with a good grease up and that before it goes back together. I'll scrape it all out there, clean it as best I can. And um, then just put it back together and it should be good for... For a while, you know, when you go to buy a second one, a second hand one of these, you know, if it's an older machine, it probably hasn't been serviced for a good few years. You know, people might do it themselves, but um, this wouldn't have usually been done. And I would think probably a lot of um, sort of um, people that service mowers in their sheds, you know, like little small businesses and that don't actually take this all apart to service it. But that bearing's okay. There, yeah, that one's okay, so that can stay. I'll clean it up and make sure it's um, greased up and what have you. So that's that's okay. Um, I did. I have got a new pair, but they're actually for the other mower, so I'll save them for that. That one, I'll check that when I got it out. Um, so yeah, um, pretty straightforward, and they're quite easy to take off. They're only sort of um, a bolt there, a bolt the other end. I disconnect the cable, so the cable comes from the top of disconnect on the top of the handlebars and um, you have to take the cover off where the cable and the PTO bit comes out to, to there and then you just got to sort of maneuver it out and it comes off quite quick so but the end bit where that sort of keyway bit is you really need to have something like this and just see where it is I don't know what it's done with it. oh there it is I've shown you this before but you need something like a little puller because that was, you can see how rusted that was on there. And it would have been a job to get off without that puller. Um, worth white and gold that puller is when working on mowers. Um, so yeah, the roller's in okay shape. You can hear there, if you listen, there's stones and that in there now. So I'll clean, I'll clean all that off. So, um, and that's where I slightly bent it, but I'll just straighten that out okay. That roller's all good to go again. Them um, little spline bits are all okay. They're okay on there. I think the central the central needle bearings seem okay on it. There's no play to speak of. Um, they all slip along a little bit from side to side, but they all do that a little bit. But it's actually 
twisty sort of if you hold the shaft that main shaft straight and then you can twist it like that then them needle bearings right inside there have got to be replaced and that's a bit of a tricky job or you can just buy the whole shaft the whole shaft with them already you know but i've replaced them but you need a press really for that um i haven't got a press here but there is one at my dad's so um yeah um for people that sort of um there's a lot of talk about um you know these gearboxes on these hondas fail and that a lot but that's probably the main reason they fail if you're using them commercially um you know they're working really really hard and um they're sort of i suppose they're driven over because they're i've got the blade brake clutch bit on them they're probably driven over gravel over you know all sorts of um stones and all sorts of stuff and it gets and it will get in to there and get in where the roller sort of joins and that will make the oil especially on the new ones with the oil in as soon as the oil will go it will actually um um that do internal damage in the butt in the gearbox and with the grease that wouldn't actually have been quite so bad because the grease wouldn't sort of leak out quite uh, wouldn't leak, well nowhere near the same as oil would but um i think oil because it's less stickier you don't get you get um, a smoother uh a smoother gearbox so you know both um it's a job to know which way and um, to, to sort of go but um if i replace them now uh, i'd put oil in for the reason is i don't want the gearbox sort of sticking when the uh, grease because grease sort of thickens up and gets stickier as it gets old so um it makes the gearbox sticky so um well, that's what i think anyway so yeah i'm rambling on a bit now i'll get that middle i'll get that middle bit off and just show you what the other side is like when i've got that off and um, well i've got it all off now um i think there's um well it's come it's been apart before i definitely know that because um them two washers were together and one of them should be one side of that and one should be the other and they were both the same side so they've definitely it's definitely been off because they've got that wrong um that roller looks okay let's check the other side of the of the drive it doesn't look very oily it just looks oily from where i put the the wd-40 on it actually but we will check make sure that the the seal isn't gone well, that, if that is the case that will have to come apart um it is a bit gunky in there but uh, that could be from before even you know it might have had a repair um that bit better repaired before the needle bearings like i said look okay um so basically it's a clean up now the shaft is good you, you uh usually they have they can wear there where that little um like space a bit in the bearing rubs on it a very 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 slight no actually it's marked it but you can't feel it I'm saying that in so if that shaft's in good in, in good condition so I'll just give that a clean down and that'll solve that bit and um, that part of the job these yep can have a good clean up so they'll be okay then and then I'll uh, wash the um, gearbox down and then see what's what with that um, um yes what I've had to do on here I've actually had to take them two bottom bolts out because if you look it's, if I can get it off well with one hand it's moving yeah this little guard thing on the bottom is absolutely caked in mud, stones, all sorts. So, yeah, look at all that in there. It's all crudding that in there, and that's going to do it no good whatsoever. So, um, um, I think that the the shard, the um, seals are okay. Yeah, I'll clean all that. I'll clean all that up. I'll put them bolts back in tight. I'll put something in the end there to stop water getting in there because I'm going to have to put the degreaser on it, give it a scrub down, and then hose it off. So it's going to um, get water in, but it should be it should be watertight anyway. The actual unit should be. So I'll just tighten them, put two bolts back up, or put another couple in because they weren't very good condition, and just stop any getting in there. Then I think this will be pretty good to go. Um, so I've been um, cleaning down the the drive for the gearbox. Um, I've been I use this stuff. Um, I'm actually going to find it a bit lower, but it's pretty good. It's like water based and it's um, gunk uh, ultra engine degree. So it doesn't smell too much. The old gunk, the old gunk stuff, the traditional stuff, really smell. Um, it's overpowering like in a shed or something. But in here, that just doesn't smell. It smells. Um, it's not a very strong smell at all. So just brush it on. 
leave it on for a while and then just hose it off and it should clear it off sometimes you have to give it a second go but it's pretty good um, i don't know how well you can see but i've cleaned the roll there's a bit wd-40 i just put in there just to sort of actually i can move them up there anyway well no i'll move them there to show you um, that's just sitting in there i'll wipe that off in a minute it's just basically sort of a cleaning it really that's what i what i use um the bearings are are okay ideal world they could be replaced but they're not but they're not bad i'm not gonna there's no play much in them so i'm not i'm gonna leave them be that one is a little bit noisy but i think that's actually that'll that'll be okay there's no play in it so i'm gonna leave them because i haven't got the press here either so um quite happy if there was lots of play in them then i would definitely change them um but they will go again i think um so yeah i'm just waiting for this to to do its stuff and then i'll probably tell it outside um tonight and um give it a blast down with the hose and um get it back in here the shaft is clean as well i've got some brand new um spare bits for it i shall reuse the washers i don't think they're in okay condition so i'll reuse the washers the circlips aren't bad either but i have got new ones of them i'll keep some of them in stock so i've got some new ones so i shall probably use new ones of them and um the actual main nut is a little bit worn on the end but that'll go again i think as well um there's one other thing there's some you're supposed to i think have spring washers on the end as well like some springy sort of half bent um washers they weren't on there and that's sometimes why you notice the um the rollers move along side to side a little bit so i've got um i've got them i bought new ones of them as well so i shall put them them in as well so it's sort of as good as it can um you know you don't know when you buy a second hand you don't know who's been had them apart who tried to repair them and i read a lot oh um the drive judges or delays or something but it's cable it, it's just an adjustment well nine out of ten times it is an adjustment it's something going on in here so you know most people um most people just uh, are told or oh, there could be cable adjustment or something but Generally, if there's a problem, it's it's inside. So, hi, uh, back on the uh, um the Honda HRD five three five drive. Um, I've give it all a good clean down now. You can see from uh, find it. Yep, there it is. Um, from that, that was the old um piece there. Um, I found one that's a bit better. Um, that's a bit better. It's not that one. I totally worn through. That one hasn't quite. So. That's going to help stop the rubbish getting in. Um, it was quite, um, there were quite a lot of stones and grit and what have you in there. So basically, now it's pretty, it's pretty simple. What I've got to do to get it back together, um, I've got to get some grease and put some grease around them bits, which I can do now. I'm just using standard sort of general purpose grease. So just give it a bit of a smearing around on the outside should really help along the lot of along the life of the drive and that so um i've got a sort of put a bit in there but i should probably get a screwdriver and put some in there same with the other side probably glove in a minute because i can't work after i've done this with this glove um was well, quite rusty before so um you just get a screwdriver and another glove. Have to bear with me with the because I've got you on the tripod tonight. I'm starting to sort of get a bit sorted of it. I'm not used to it on the tripod, so I'm trying to get organised with the tools and and that. So uh, they're all on hand, but you always find you need something you haven't got. So because this um, was quite rusty, now I'm giving it a fair bit of grease. It's not going to do it any harm. So, yep, that would be that part done. So, just put that to the side. We need the grease again in a minute. So, um, what do we need now? We um, need the shaft. Just let me get the shaft here. So, um, so, I've got a few things sorted now. Um, there's a two washers like that are supposed to be on there um they're like a sort of a bent washer and one fits that end before the the long roller goes on so the long roller is there um i probably should have changed the bearings on the end there but like i said before there's not no play in them so 
and they will go again. I've put some WD-40 in that on them. So I'll just get the screwdriver again and just put just a little bit of grease around the end there, just just inside there, just to help out. They were like a seal bearing anyway. You know, they've got that plasticky cover bit in it, so they're not gonna um, sort of let any muck and that in. Um, so let's get this on there. Let me just make sure it's the right way. Yeah, that bit bolts on the mower. Then that bit goes right the way down there. Because um, then the drive goes here to connect to the mower, and then the smaller piece goes on. So now we are to the circlip has got to go on right in there. So that's the sort of trickiest one. Not massively hard, but that's the trickiest one. I've got a new one of them there i'm going to replace them just because they um will be prone to uh, um you know when they've been used they sort of lose a bit of their springiness so let's get that down there nearly there it's pretty quite difficult for you to see this bit but you'll just know when it locates in down there. Try to improve the light, but it's still a little bit difficult. Yep, I've, I've located that. I can tell that is actually sliding around the, li the little groove. So that is in. You'll know when it goes in because you'll be able to sort of get a screwdriver and sort of slide it around with a screwdriver. So it'll go around in this little in this little groove. Just hundred percent check that, that is on right. Saying that, I think pretty sure it's in there. Yep, that's in there. I'm happy with that. Then. You got that washer. I'm going to reuse the old ones of them because I can't see anything wrong with them. They go onto there when it's in here. So if you just put that over there, just make sure it's um, right flush down against the. Uh, pretty easy if I put it up like that. The actual. Um, gearbox will push it down when it goes on anyway but I think I'm I think I'm there now so we're there so just make sure like I said before that you um, get the bits in the right sort of way around I have put the gearboxes on the wrong way before because you've got to just remember what which side the short one is I'll just smear a little bit of grease on the shaft there not a massive amount just a bit just because that's where it the actual gearbox is going to be sort of sitting along there. Probably overdone it, but it'll push out what it doesn't need. Then, yep, that's correct. I haven't replaced the um, circlips on there. They were fine. I didn't need to interfere with that. So now we push that on there like, like so. It's easier if you do this bit upright. Yep, the cogs are located into the into the cog that bit below has um, gone into the um, roller so now you repeat the same thing the other end another washer just get that down there i think it'll be at a better angle then so the washer goes on now you see all the grease on the end what like so Get the grease out of the way. So we've got another new one of these. If you do uh, want to require, um, want me to tell you the um, part numbers for these, just ask on the comments and I'll um, tell you the part numbers of the little bits. But you can search it up. Tell you. Uh, there's a place, um, Lings, if you type in Lings Honda, um, 
online it will um, give you sort of diagrams of the mowers and everything so that helps a bit before they've gone on it hasn't quite gone on that hasn't so um yes i've got that clip on um it was a little bit difficult to film because what i had to do was get the i sort of shoot before get this upright like that and then have to push that down hard because of that spring spring washer in the bottom the spring washer i fitted so i'll just 100 percent check that um that, that is in yep it's going around the groove nicely there um yeah so i've got that um other um sir clip in now so now we have basically got we have basically got the um gearbox back on well actually we have got the gearbox back on just put the grease out of the worst and hardly need that anymore so now we're on the second part of the roller all cleaned up and everything i've cleaned up both the ends the best i sort of can quite good now um i will um just get the grease and that's what i've done with it but i'll just get the grease and i'll put a little bit even that's got some round there at the moment. I'll just put a bit round, just round there. To help it, like I said, with oil or whatever. I suppose you can have too much on some things. It isn't going to have it hurt having a bit, a bit extra on these sort of things. They get wet and that, and it soon, soon um sort of dries out. So I think put a bit, bit more on. Can't do any harm. So now we've just pushing that roll on, located really nice that located then hope you can see that okay i will get better with the tripod in time i just not i'm just not used to it really so now i've just got to think uh how this goes because when i took it apart these little washers weren't on there which um they should have been but um i was Speaking to the person I ordered the parts from, he said I should have these, and he he was right. They should be they should be on there. Yep. So that just goes on there like so. Uh, it doesn't matter what way round it goes. It's the same both way. So that just goes up against the um, the bearing. So yep, the um, short part of the roller is back on now. I've put the spring clip on to just show you so that goes on then this goes on but actually when this is you have you can't really put this on properly until it's back on the mower because you bolt the opposite end and then when this goes back on you put this on and then it holds it all tight because them two bits coming out won't allow you to get it on um if they're both bolted on this has to slip on afterwards and then the height adjusted thing and that all goes on after but for the video the purpose of the video i will put it on just to show you um there's a little keyway in there sometimes that will fall out sometimes it will st stick in there which you'll have to get it out when you take the the roller off and um, but generally i find they stick into this bit um so that's in there so the, all that has to be done now is that just has to be so i've just got something just to lean that on top of so and then yeah just locate that into the slot on here which has gone on nicely and then all we've got to do is the the final nut and that i'll just nip that um up just because i'm not putting it back onto the mower tonight so it'll just keep everything together but I won't go really tight with it, could just hold it into place, otherwise that end roller could slide off. So yeah, that's the um that's a complete um sort of service of the of the roller on this HRD. Um so yeah, that's ready to go. It should be nice and smooth now. Um I will do a video of the actual gearbox next time because on the other HRD the gearbox has got to come apart. So It'll be all this process, what I've just done. Also, um, taking the other gearbox back apart, cleaning it all out, filling it with oil, um, new seal and everything. Um, and then fitting it back together like this. So, yeah, this is, um, as you can hear there, that's sliding around quite smoothly and nicely. Not really noisy from them bearings, so no sort of playing it anywhere so that's the sort of job done on that one um 
So tomorrow, hopefully, I can get that back on. So there you are. It's all um, ready to sort of go back on the mower. So, yep, that's how you sort of um, take it apart, uh, sort of clean it, um, and all the little things to check. Everything's there and everything. And, um, yeah, that's uh, how you service one of these um, Honda HRD rollers, or an HRH would be the same. And um, so with, um, I think I mentioned earlier, the HR194 and the HR216, that's the older two mowers. And I think some of the, um, there might be some other mates as well that has this gearbox on. Anything with this sort of gearbox on, this is sort of the, um, what you have to do to sort of um, service it all up. Like I said before, a lot of the time you take, might take one of these into a service and people wouldn't go take all this off. Um, apparently, um, the person told me uh, where all of the parts, it's uh, on one of these HRDs, it's a two hour, it's a two hour time slot for a service on one of these. So um, about an hour or so on this, I suppose. Um, but that would be on new machines. You could always come across like little obstacles on older ones because of that bolt uh, there was um, stuck, and um, you know some things are a bit hard to get off the old machines. But that's what they um, that's what they quote for that. So two hours. So that's for the, the roller, and then all the other little bits, um, just a basic service bit. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's of some use to you. Um, and uh, the next one, I won't do that part of the, in the next video, but I'll do the separating the gearbox and putting the seal in and um, the oil and show you what to do with that. So thanks for watching and I'll be along with another video again soon.